audience, it is, well, actually it's Wednesday technically because it's the new day here. Anyway, guys, it is nightfall, has reset, and it's the Nexus with an asterisk. It's an asterisk because they've made it funky. They've, oops, they've funkified the Nexus. That, that, that's my argument, that's what I'm going with, they've funkified it, okay? Basically, there have been a few slight changes, and I also have a theory about the Nexus, which involves a secret room, but that will be another video. So let's go through, we'll break it all down, talk about the modifiers when I pick up my headset, and we'll go through and let you know the strat and how to do it. So basically, guys, first things first, this epic, heavily shielded, highly aggressive enemies appear in great numbers. It's always on. There is nothing new about that. Uh, arc burn. Arc damage from any source is greatly increased. It definitely is on, that's for sure. Guys, watch your enemies. They fire arc and it stings like a motherfucker. Um, but yeah, basically, guys, any any of the dregs or any of the anything like that shoots arc and it just absolutely fillets you. Um, so watch that. Uh, special special weapon damage is favoured, and you want to remember that when you get to the final Nexus boss battle. Uh, juggler, no ammo drops for your current equipped weapon, which duh, yeah, well, duh, it's obvious. It's you, you run around with an auto rifle, you're not going to get auto rifle weapon or primary weapon. You're going to get special or, or heavy. If you run around with your heavy weapon, you're going to get primary or special. It's it's obvious. And the last thing, guys, is iron clouds. More enemies have shields. And yeah, they definitely do. Um, Basically, though, although you're kind of lucky in this, most of the shielding I came up against was arc. Um... To be honest, the only real problem I had was with the dregs. Um, they had solar shields. I actually thought matched was on for a while because it actually would stop you from going through and, and it seemed to take a lot to drop that solar shield. So basically what I found was the best way to do it was to go through and have a, a machine gun that's solar. And then when we got to the final boss battle, I just flicked it over to uh, Song of Ute. If you do plan on using that machine gun, be warned, it is highly unstable unless fully upgraded, and it chews through ammo. So, yeah, be warned. Uh, Thunderbolt is also something else you might want to consume or take with you, but also do keep in mind you want to fully upgrade that as well, because it also walks like a AK-47. Apart from that, guys, any sort of arc weapon, a sword, shields, uh, sorry, shields, swords, machine guns, uh, heavy rocket launchers, whatever you may have, will do definitely some damage. For the boss towards the end, I would definitely recommend taking a sniper rifle. Um, I was using a voy uh, sorry, a arc version of a thousand yard stare, and I was doing over fifty four thousand damage. Um, in fact, it took about 10 or 12 shots, and he was dead. Um, so it was a pretty quick battle. Um, the biggest problem was obviously going around killing the ads between shots. Apart from that, guys, also if you're after some, vo uh, some arc damage, if you've got Fang of Ute, uh, the Adept, that is definitely arc. Also, if you've got Solar, solar uh, the, the Over Soul Edict, that is also arc as well. So you definitely want to go taking those with you. Apart from that, guys, like I say, it is simply a case of just simply going through like normal, going through, doing the level, and, and basically just working your way through. Now there are a couple little changes that are in the actual in the actual mission. Um, one of them is that you actually go up to obviously Clyde's in it. Well, that's new. Um, also, when you get up to the doorway, you can't just run through the door anymore. You actually have to go through and build the doorway or, or build the, the round circle platform thing like the Vault of Glass, um, which basically allows it to go through and open the door. 
Apart from that, guys, once you go through, you cannot stand on the ledge anymore. Um, it does the whole joining allies and forces you to spawn downstairs. Um, so that is a little bit of a bummer. Um, but apart from that, like I say, everything else is just basically the same. Shoot boss, shoot ads. Um, until you do some de serious damage on him, there is about two or three damage phases where it'll come up with Mark of the Void. Now what you need to do is get someone to run over, stand in the light area that will appear, and that will allow you to be cleansed, very similar to like Vault of Glass. Once you've done that, um, you only need one person to do it, by the way. You don't all need to do it, which is cool. Once you've done that, you can go back to shooting the shit out of the boss and the enemies. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, basically forces you to stop hiding because if you do stay there too long without jumping in and being cleansed, your screen goes black, you can't see, and all of a sudden you're, you're basically an easy target because you can't see anything. Um, but yeah, so guys, don't don't forget to do that. A um, little side note, I did find it was a lot easier to stand over where the, the bricks are or the columns are um, near where the actual void appears or where the cleansing pool cle appears. Um, because that way you can just run out, jump in it, and then jump back. Also, I found it was a lot easier to go through with a hunter, because that'll allow you to go through and actually kill, uh, like go invisible, uh, jump in the pool, and then jump back. Also, if you got yourself into a lot of shit with a lot of ads, because there's more and more ads that keep spawning, then you can go and viz, run around the other side of the map, lure them away from everybody else, and then come back and res everybody. So a hunter is definitely something that is definitely pretty, very convenient for this. Apart from that guys like i say i was doing 50 something thousand damage just by shooting him with the sniper rifle took about 10 or 12 shots and he was gone so it's not an overly long boss battle now apart from that guys if you have any questions feel free to hit me up in the comment section below if you found this video is useful please smack a like also don't be afraid to share it because obviously it helps me out a lot apart from that guys and look i'll see you playing destiny and uh enjoy your nightfalls have a great night let us know what you get in the comment section below ciao